If you want to make it big in this business, you gotta keep a poker face. You've got nothing, Boss Junior. Ooh, Boss Junior's playing mind games with me. Say, that reminds me of Keith Lenton's story, The Game. It stars the charming Chris Ross and the stunning Shannon O'Zerny. Why, you'll flush. <laughs> Jacobs, roll the film. Hello, my name is Keith Lenton, and I wrote The Game. Use your lasers. Maybe I would, you know, if you shut your mouth. Oscar, Ivy, and Milo were bright students. But there were some things they still had to learn. Nice try. But you forgot to account for the air coefficient created by the empty pockets in the bank. Hey, Ivy, you ever talk about a normal human being? You kids keep them floors clean. I'm sick of cleaning up after you. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> Who's the crank? Spickens. He's a new janitor. I hear he's got learning difficulties. Oh, you mean the uh, elevator doesn't go to the top floor? Uh -huh. It's a little breezy in the penthouse. It's really unfortunate. It's too bad. Smart aleck kids. Use a pee. When the numerator is greater than the speed of light, I know. except on Tuesdays. However, in this particular hey, Oscar. Moment, one can easily see. The now we're going to see the drag coefficient and all its slopping wet glory. Is a vector form. <laughs> Milo, what is the value of x? Seventeen. Thank you, Ivy. Class, I want our school ranking to remain in the top 10 percentile. That means you, Milo. Listen, there's something big going down in the storage room. Let's go. No one says anything to nobody. I can beat that in like 10 minutes. What is a video game doing in school? It'll fry your brains. Maybe that's what happened to Spiggins. Hey. I heard that. You watch your tongue. Oscar, uh, uh, someone plays a game shows something of her character. How she loses shows even more of it. You afraid to lose, Oscar? You may play me now. Okay, one at a time. I got here first! Welcome to Alien Frenzy. Prepare to be destroyed. Yeah, right. Do you think you can beat me? It's only a matter of time before you lose. <laughs> Class, how you arrived at the answer, please. I like eight. <laughs> it's all bendy. <laughs> Oscar had never heard Ivy talk that way before. Something was strange about his friend. Ivy, Ivy. What? No, Oscar, not now. I'm busy. Your turn. I, uh, I don't really like playing video games. How someone plays a game shows something in his character. How he loses shows all of it. Afraid of losing, Oscar? Go play. No, thanks. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. 
Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. Knowledge transfer. I will be the bobble, the bobble princess. Okay. Okay, uh -huh. and you're just like, no, bubble prince. Yeah? You can't bob him like that. <laughs> Lights on, but nobody's home. <laughs> Hey, dummies, go back to kindergarten. Hey, why don't you pick on someone your own size, eh? They're not stupid. No. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. <laughs> Oscar was very suspicious of the game now, and even more suspicious of Mr. Spiggins. Ready for the next knowledge transfer. I am prepared. There is an intruder behind me. Go ahead. I'm already smart enough. But your two friends, Tweedledee and Tweedledumber, <laughs> Stealing kids' intelligence? How could you do something so... so low? Wretched kids! You all think you can humiliate this lowly janitor just because you assume I lack intelligence? Who's smarter now? Yeah, well, it's only because of the game. And once I tell everyone, you're gonna have to return the intelligence you stole. Go ahead. Tell. You really think people believe I stole day smarts? <laughs> All right. How about a deal? I'll play the game. If I win, my friends get their smarts back. If I lose, well, you can have my intelligence. We have a bargain. Welcome to Alien Frenzy. Prepare to be destroyed. Too bad. When I destroy your other two ships, you will lose all your smarts. <laughs> Last chance to win. Say goodbye to all that wonderful knowledge. <laughs> Feeling a little breezy in the penthouse? <laughs> You're overloading the machine. So sorry. You busted my machine. Oh, dumb again. How'd you do it? Well, it was simple, really. I noticed the game had a substandard storage unit and couldn't contain the vast intelligence of all us kids. So it overloaded and transferred all the intelligence to me. It's gonna go back to the way it was. You was gonna make fun of me again. All right, guys. I have your intelligence. And the only way for me to return it to you is for me to reteach you. Now, 
Do you remember oh, what the value for pie is? I like apple pie. I like ice cream. <laughs> Mr. Spickens, maybe you could help us? I don't know the first thing about that stuff. Maybe we could all figure it out together. How can you win so much fast, Junior? Hey, wait a minute. Fast Junior's got the card stacked against me. Jacobs, roll the slides. 14-year-old Keith Lenton loves video games. Lucky for him, he's still got a few brain cells left. A top student at school, Keith studies hard, but he still finds time to play his trumpet and swim at the lake. Smart story, Keith. Up next, Alison Flam Gitman takes stories to you to a telepathic level. <laughs> 